baby, don't check for me. Taking time out to be and live my life off screen. Taking. on my way to get some errands out of the way. I need to run to the bank. I need to run to the post office. I do plan on doing 12 days of Christmas. That's how I'll do my Vlogmas, 12 days, and then I'm going ghost, okay? I'm gonna enjoy the holiday season, not picking up my camera. I might do some stuff on my other socials like Instagram and TikTok, but as far as YouTube, I'm gonna go ghost. If you guys don't know, like, December, January is the best time to take a break from um, YouTube because the brands are pretty much maxed out on their budgets for the holiday season. So it's crickets. <laughs> so I would say that that's the best time to do it. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna do 12 days of Vlogmas. So I'm listening to uh, Angela Yee. Yandy is the guest host. And they let people call in and tell their secrets. This one guy said, because of his height, we have to use the restroom at other people's house. He pees in the sink. They asked him how tall he was. He said 6'2". That's not that tall. Like, that's not that tall. That is disgusting. Okay? That's disgusting. If you you should have said because of the length. <laughs> I would have took that over the height. Okay? Because of, what? So they said, "Did you do you do that at your own house?" He said, "Yes, his wife is sitting right there." They like, "You let your husband pee in the sink?" Like That's disgusting. I'm sorry. Just say the sink is closer. Okay, sir, because you ain't fooling me. <laughs> okay, y'all back home i did find a few things in home goods that i want to share with you guys today of course home goods have all the holiday goodies i wanted to find some christmas towels for the kitchen but i didn't find any that i was in love with so let me just show y'all what i picked up most of the things that i picked up i can use year round i have a set of these let me just show y'all Look 
goodness. How pretty is this? Thank you. Three ninety nine or two ninety nine each. So pretty, right? Oh my gosh! This gives holiday. Hmm. So I bought those. Like I said, I bought a set. The other one is in here. Here. And then I love um, like amber wine glasses, amber champagne glasses. I love the way that those look, but it has to be the right brown. And I saw some in-home goods. I had them in my buggy and then I put them back at the end. But um, I think I did get a picture of them. I'll show y'all right here. So. If you have room to get some more glasses and you're into glassware like me, get that glass, girl, because it's so cute. Okay, this next item that I picked up. Now, everything else I can use all year round. It's not too Christmassy. I just thought it was pretty and it's my vibe, so I got it. Um, now, this is a candle. Wait till y'all see how pretty this packaging looks. Y'all ready? Look at this. How pretty. And then I could use this for something else once the candle is burned out. They also had the smaller version. This is the big one. This is a 24 ounce candle. They had the little small one that was probably like eight ounces or something like that. And I grabbed both because I couldn't make up my mind which size I wanted to get. And then at the end, I put the smaller one back. And this is a sweet pomelo. Um, and it smells good. It's sweeter than what I would normally go for. But I just love the packaging on this. So I had to get it. So pretty. This candle was $19.99. The other one was, I think, like $12.99 or something like that. Maybe $9.99. But this packaging is so pretty. Y'all know I'm into woods. I like to add little natural objects throughout our place. And this is perfect. So I'll just have this floating around in different spots. Maybe the living room sometimes. Maybe the bedroom sometimes. The bathroom. I just thought it was really cute. And I just could not get over this packaging. It's so, so pretty. So I got that. And then this next thing, y'all. I got two of them. Because I just couldn't. Oh, what's this? Oh, hold on. I got something else before that. What is this? I don't even remember. Oh. They had this dirty martini juice. So I do like martinis. So I said, well... Maybe I'll get this and try it. I've never had it before. This was $19. So hopefully it's good. I'm going to get me some little olives. And we'll have us a little dirty martini. Me and my little sister. Okay. This next thing. So good. Hello. <laughs> so cute. Y'all know I love ribbed anything. I have a ribbed candle sleeve like this that I bought maybe like three or four years ago. But this one is taller and it's so pretty. It has the wood at the bottom. So, so cute. This was, I have no idea, but I did buy two of them. Like how pretty is this can you imagine a big candle in this it's gonna look so good so romantic so vibey okay and i had to get two so love this and i could put it on the living room table bathroom counters the dining room table it can float okay she's a floater so i bought two of those let me see maybe this one has the price tag on it Cause that one didn't have the price tag on it, so she had to get the price from somewhere. Unless this is it. No, that's for the. Let's see. Oh yeah, that was it. 
Oh, this was $19.99. Girl, now you know that's a good price. $19.99, hello. My small ones that I got a while ago, I'll pop up a picture right here. I think I paid like $30 for those. So, so good. And then I went to Sephora. If you guys don't know, we have a new Sephora on the beach. It's really cute in there. Brand spanking new. It's right next to Home Goods. I picked up the replica candle in Jazz Club. I also wanted to get by the fireplace, but they didn't have any more in stock. This is perfect for our bedroom because that's the vibe. And I can smell this candle already. This is the size. It's small. I'll take it. It smells nice. So I'm gonna, I got that for the bedroom. And then I bought two salt and stone fragrances. One of them, one of these fragrances are going back. I couldn't decide which one that I wanted. I want to say that I like the Black Rose and Oud better than the Bergamot and Hinoki. So... I couldn't decide so I was like okay I'm gonna just spray both of them on my hand and then whichever one I like which I remember spraying one the one that's on my left hand I didn't really like because I have something like that it kind of reminds me of those body sprays from Target the one that I have on this hand but I couldn't decide so okay yeah the Rose Noir and Oud is the one that I'm going to keep. And this one here is going to go back because it, it reminds me of something that I already have. Let me just double check. Yeah. Hold on, let me spray it on this receipt. It smells good though. But once it dried down on this hand, it just smells too similar to that other one that I have. But, but that's all I picked up on my little outing. Now I'm getting ready to make a cozy dinner. We're gonna do some chili tonight. Most likely, once my husband find out that I'm making chili, he's gonna make some fries and he likes to do chili cheese fries. And then the next day he'll do some chili cheese dogs. And then he might have a bowl of chili on the side, child. He get real creative with it. I'm just going to have a bowl of chili, make some grilled cheese, and call it a night. So I'm going to share that recipe with you guys. Very simple, the basics. And then you just add your own love to it. And you have your pot of chili. Very simple. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let's get into dinner time.